Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today and good on you for clicking on and making that time to come down, grab your mat and do a workout just for you. Putting aside whatever you've got on, what's going on around you because I know life can be crazy, I've got a lot of children and so I know that just having this time to yourself can actually make a really difference in yourself, in your parenting, in your relationships and when you feel strong on the inside it really shows in your confidence to people and the loved ones around you as well. So self-care is a really great thing to do for yourself and I love doing mat based things that helps you feel grounded and helps you feel re-energized and reconnected for the day. So grab your mat and come join me for some good little glute burns. Who doesn't love to put those glutes, which for us females is a great way to help and support this whole area when we have nice strong glutes. So let's get going. So let's jump down to our mat starting in our little all fours position right here. Once again, we want to feel strong in this position. We want our pinkies on the edge of the mat. Have a little lift and lower, do a little scapular release. Then come and find your nice little tabletop position. So we don't want any of this. We want a nice strong back so that core is working that whole time as well. So from here, I'm going to inhale, exhale, lift that left leg up. So make sure you don't tip your weight all the way over into that right leg. You want to really come and bring that weight nice and central right here. So from here, I'm going to bring the leg out to one corner and kick it up over a nice big rainbow. So it's the same time I'm working in the glute. I need some nice little mobility into the hips. And that core is having to stabilize so my body doesn't go everywhere. Beautiful, so pushing through those hands, tap and lift. If you want to add a little extra, you're welcome to add some light ankle weights. I'll suggest 500 to 1 kg would be plenty for this workout. Beautiful, so if you come back to this, you can always challenge yourself and add on. So think about lifting up through that quad. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Lift and hold. We're going to flex that foot. We're going to combine those knees together and push up. That's it. So it's that little donkey kick right here. Connect the knee and lift up. So you're trying to bring that thigh parallel without throwing into that lower back. So we're just really focusing right here on strengthening that upper glute muscle. Nice. So the stronger our upper glute muscles are, it's going to protect that lower back. Beautiful. Let's go for three, two, one. Bring it down, point the foot, come out for that fire hydrant. Lift and lower. So we're looking at side booty action happening here. Nice. Keep it up. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, one. Bring it back to center, lift that leg up. It's a point and flex in. Point and flex in, working that hamstring. But I have to think about a nice long leg. The upper body is really working as well. So if you feel like your wrists are starting to fatigue, think about pushing through those hands and using that upper back. We're going to come off those wrists in a minute. Let's go for three, two, one, hold it out, come down to those forearms. From here, we're going to bend that leg back up and go back into those donkey kicks, but now we're in that slightly pitched down position. Now feel how much bigger that motion is and how much more into the glute you're getting. Beautiful, inhale, kick up. Exhale, bring it down, connect those knees. Slow and control. We don't want to do this speed, because if I see speed, this is what I see. Lots of wibbling in the body. We want to protect that core and protect that spine. Once again, I'm pushing through those forearms. So I'm opening up my back. Let's go for three, two, one. Hold up their little pulses to the ceiling. Oh my goodness, my other glute is starting to fatigue because it's stabilizing me. Feel that burn on that right side. Let's go for three, two, one. Point the foot, connect the knee, out to that fire hydrant again. Oh yes, that fire hydrant again in this position. I can really feel my obliques and my core working as well. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Can you hold out their little pulses? Oh, I to love those little pulses. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, lift it up. It's that point and flex in. Hamstring curl. The hamstring is the elevator to that glute tee. Oh yes, we're getting that lower glute that connects into that hamstring. Beautiful, let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. 
bring that knee in, sink back into a child's pose, release off those glutes, come off those wrists. Inhale, exhale out. Roll yourself on up, and we have the other side to do. So set yourself on up, stretch that leg long. So it's gonna to tap to the side and start with those big rainbows. Oh, that feels nice just to move that glute to try and straighten off that leg. That's it, stabilize through those hips. Nice big movement side to side. It's always good to have some glute focus time. Chucked into your week a couple of times. Challenging that body, bringing that glute strength up. And it's amazing what you can do without having to lift heavy weights. It's really challenging that body. Let's go for three. Two. And last one, lift it nice and long. Flex that foot in, we're gonna connect those knees. Then you try to push the foot to the ceiling. Connect the knees, push the foot to the ceiling. Without tossing into that lower back. So use that core. Once again, push those fingers, gaze down to the mat. Nice and controlled, let's go for five. Four, three, two, and last one. Bring it in, point that foot out to that fire hydrant. So it's going straight out to that side. Nice, keeping that body nice and square and controlled. It's a really great way to work that side glute, side of the hips, strengthening that whole hip area. Let's go for five, four, Three, two, one, bring it back up, point out, flex in, point out, flex in. That's it, nice work. You always feel good when you have strong glutes. Especially after having kids, I found like having to work on that glute strength was massive. It seems to be an area that really deteriorates if you don't work on it, especially during pregnancy and breastfeeding. That's where our breastfeeding stalls are, is around those hips and those glutes. So it's really good to keep them nice and strong with good muscle tone. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Hold it out there, come down off those wrists. That should feel really nice. Once again, we're gonna flex that foot and come into those donkey kicks here, pushing up. That's a nice big sweeping action coming up and whew, that left glute is on fire. It's helping to stabilize, but it's already done its work. Nice work, let's go for five, four, three, two. Last one, hold the ceiling, little stomps up. That's it, lift, push that ceiling, raise the roof off, you can do it. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Point the foot, connect the knees out to that fire hydrant. That's it, feel it oblique, helping to stabilize and lift and lower. Woo! Nice work, let's go for five, four, three, two, one, hold up their little pulses. Yes, love me right now, curse at me if you need to. Five, four, three, two, one, bring it in. Point long, flex it. Point long, flex it, you've got this. Whew, you're feeling super crazy today. Go back through and do this again. And that will give you a super glute burn. Nice, let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Bring that knee in, stretch back. Oh my goodness, I've got a toddler running in. Feel that nice stretch back. Have a toddler jump on your back to help you, that's not really helpful. Beautiful work, guys. Bring it on up. Let's have a quick little stretch right here. You might have little ones that come in. Yes, Mom. darling. Yeah. Brother counting me. Brother counting you? Yes. Ah, oh, put your center top on. No, no. Nice. So sink back into that stretch. No, no. Lift up. Switch to the other side. Nice little stretch off here. Yeah. It's important to give those glutes a nice little stretch off. Nice work. Bring those feet back. Tuck those toes in. Nice little bend and stretch, bend and stretch. That's it guys, for three, two, and last one, bring those knees down, stretch those arms up, 
and great work guys. This is a really quick little blue band that you can throw in even when you've got little ones around. You can get that workout in, you can get those glutes on fire and feel really strong and confident in yourself. Thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to see you back on the mat. Bye guys. Thank you, you should turn the lights off. Say bye everybody. Bye everybody. <laughs> so I'm a cheeky monkey.